This video will cover demonstrating the PIC-18 Q41 and AVRDB Curiosity Nano development kits with the factory default programming. Future Curiosity Nanos may come with pre-installed demos showcasing features of the new product family. Out of the box, both boards have been pre-programmed to showcase the op-amp peripherals on the device. You can learn more about the integrated op-amps and their basic electrical configurations by checking out the video playlist in the pop-up above. We'll begin with the PIC-18 Q41 development board. If you'd like to skip ahead to the AVRDB Nano, timestamps are in the video description. This code example is designed to demonstrate some of the op-amp configurations possible on the PIC-18 Q41 family of microcontrollers. Pins RA5 and RA4 are weak pull-up digital inputs that select a configuration, while the push button on RC0 is used to apply the changes. The LED on RC1 blinks a number of times to indicate the current configuration. In terms of analog functionality, pins RC1, RC2, and RA2 are used. Pin RC2 is the output of the operational amplifier, whereas RC1 and RA2 function as the inverting and non-inverting inputs. There are four configurations on the Curiosity Nano. From the top left going clockwise, the configurations are direct connection to external pins, unity gain, non-inverting programmable gain amplifier, and inverting programmable gain amplifier. The only configuration that requires external parts to set the operating behavior is direct connection to external pins. All other configurations use the internal resistor ladder or unity gain switch. You can find out more about these configurations in the GitHub documentation or in the device datasheet. Like the Curiosity Nano for the PIC-18 Q41 family, this demo is designed to showcase some of the op-amp configurations possible in the AVRDB microcontroller family. Pins RC6, RC5, and RC4 are used as weak pull-up digital inputs to select one of the op-amp configurations. Pressing RB2 will apply the configuration selected on the pins and indicate the configuration by blinking the onboard LED on RB3 a number of times. In terms of analog, the AVR128DB48 microcontroller has three op-amps on board. These op-amps can operate independently of each other, or they can be interconnected and cascaded depending on the configuration. The other pins on the screen correspond with the three op-amps on the device. The default firmware has six possible op-amp configurations. Direct connection to pins, UD gain, non-inverting programmable gain amplifier, inverting programmable gain amplifier, differential amplifier, and instrumentation amplifier. The only configuration which requires external components is direct connection to pins. All other configurations use the internal resistor ladders and analog multiplexers. You can find more information about these configurations in the GitHub documentation or in the device datasheet. If you've already flashed a program onto the development board and would like to reinstall the factory default, you can do so in only a few moments. Download a copy of the firmware from GitHub and find the pre-compiled hex. Then, drag and drop the hex file onto the Curiosity Nano drive in your OS. This will trigger the device to deploy the hex file onto the microcontroller. This also works with other hex files as well. Thank you for watching. To get your own Curiosity Nano development board for PIC-18 Q41 or AVRDB, please see the links in the video description. If you find this content interesting and would like to see more, Please like and subscribe.